Putin threatened Ukraine and the West with missiles again. Russian President Vladimir Putin boasting of the latest weapons in the Russian armed forces during a meeting with military graduates has once again resorted to threats of putting new Sarmat launchers with a new super heavy intercontinental ballistic missile on combat duty. The first launchers for the Sarmat system with a new heavy missile will be on combat duty shortly, Putin said. During a similar meeting last June, Putin also promised to put the Sarmat missiles on combat duty by the end of 2022. However, no such thing happened. The head of the Kremlin bragged that the Russian Navy had commissioned the Borei A project lead submarine and the frigate admiral of the Soviet Union's fleet, Gorshov, went on combat duty in January 2023. He also said that the weapons of the Russian nuclear triad make it possible to effectively and reliably ensure strategic deterrence and maintain the global balance of power. Putin also claimed that about half of Russia's strategic missile forces units are equipped with the latest YAS thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles and that strategic missile forces is allegedly being rearmed with modern missile systems with a hypersonic warhead called Avangarde. The Russian president also claimed that the Russian forces have been using advanced armored vehicles, air defense and electronic warfare systems and missile and rocket systems in the war against Ukraine to accomplish the combat tasks of the war. He also assured the graduates that the plans to improve the potential of all components of the Russian armed forces would be fully implemented. For reference, Sarmat is a Russian strategic missile system equipped with an intercontinental ballistic missile. The Russians claim that due to its features, it is capable of overcoming all existing missile defense systems and is considered to be the weapon with the world's longest range.